morning, Booktubeathon. It is day one. This is the first time I'm ever doing Booktubeathon, and I'm excited. So it's Monday morning. I am about to walk into work. It's very rainy here today, if you can kind of tell. Uh, it's been kind of thunderstorming, pouring all morning, so it's been a mood. But today, I don't know what audiobook I'm going to start with. I always listen to an audiobook while I'm at work, like most days, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to start with yet. So I'll update you on that later. And then I'm going to start reading Saga Volume 2, probably around lunchtime, uh, as that's my first book to read for the uh, readathon, uh, due to the coin flip that I did in my TBR, which if you want to watch that, you can click up in one of these corners. So a big part of Booktubeathon is these video challenges and Instagram challenges, and I actually don't think I'm going to be doing any of them. I might change my mind, but it, it's really a lot to keep up with. I have a full-time job, and the point of the readathon is to read, and I feel like I won't have enough time to do reading and do all the reading I want to do if I'm spending time filming videos, editing videos, and uploading videos every single day. It's just too much. So, stay tuned for if that changes. But other than that, I'm going to go into work. I'll update you guys probably around lunchtime. Hello, it is lunchtime. I am home. I just finished eating lunch and I have about 30 minutes before I need to go back to work. So I am going to dive into my first physical read, which is Saga Volume 2. This was decided as my first read in the coin toss, which I think I mentioned earlier. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to read this. Hopefully I can finish this one today. Maybe not during lunch, but today. That'd be good. So I'm just hanging out with the cat on the balcony, as I do if you watch any of my other reading vlogs. the saga series is that you can't like read this at work because it's very not safe for work in the artwork there's a lot of nudity and like gross nudity and lots of things you just can't have people peeking over your shoulders about so my husband and I are sitting here arguing over whether he's read the second one because we both read the first one and I was like okay well tell me what you've been like what's in the second one to confirm if it is the second one or not and then please repeat what you said <laughs> I mean, I just said that I know I haven't read that because I've never seen that ball sack before. So, for children, you can skip ahead on the vlog, but like one of the enemies-ish that they're dealing with is, uh, hold on, I gotta get back, is, is this. So like, don't read it at work, but I, I just thought it was too funny not to share. Hello, it has been several hours since last time I vlogged. Um, it is the evening, it's like 10 o'clock, and I have not read anything since lunchtime. That's not true, I started an audiobook. I started when we were liars, we were liars. I'm like 15 minutes into it, so I don't have any information for you. But, it's been a productive evening. I did the day one video challenge, that was fun. I'll link it if you guys wanna check it out. And we filmed a video for our channel, cause we're doing, um, we have a, movie review kind of channel, uh, the BS Review. I will link it if you guys are interested. And uh, we are prepping to do 31 days of Halloween on that channel, so we have to like pre-film videos so we're not d uh, dying during October. So I've been doing everything but reading this evening. But now I clearly have a face mask on, so while this sets, I'm going to continue reading Saga. I think I'm a little less than halfway through it, so I don't think I'm going to end up finishing it tonight, but we'll see. I'll update you guys later. Face mask number two, and the hubs is joining. I'm slowly converting him to sheet masks. That's good for my face. He has dry skin. I have oily skin. So I always follow up my intense clay mask with sheet masks. With our powers combined, we have one normal face. Is that how that works? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like five pages from being done with Saga, and it's so good. And then I think he's going to read it when I'm done. Yep. Right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I'll probably start Paper Girls after that. Couple that looks like serial killers together. Stays <laughs> together. <laughs> You're gonna get a couple more serial killer clips. Sorry.
but I finished Saga Volume 2, so book one of the readathon is done! Five stars. Highly recommend if you like sci-fi and weird shit. So I'm going to pass this off to Steven to read eventually. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm going to go get Paper Girls and also my cowboy hat, because I have to wear a hat the whole time I read that book. Yay! A ponytail and a face mask, so this hat doesn't really sit well in any particular way, but it's happening! And now I'm starting Pip Girls Volume 2! Hello! It is Booktubeathon Day 2! You would have already seen some footage from earlier today because I completely forgot to vlog before I went to work. So I read a little bit during lunch. So last night I was on Paper Girls Volume 2, but I have to wear a hat the whole time I read that. And I didn't want to take my cowboy hat to work and sit in my courtyard and have to explain to people why I'm wearing a random hat while I ate lunch. So uh, I decided to do Call Me By Your Name today. I got 42 pages into it. I'm enjoying it so far. I have not seen the movie, and it's interesting, so still got a lot to go. And then I think here in a minute I'm going to continue reading this out on the balcony while wearing my hat, and I listen to more of We Were Liars, but I'm only like an hour and a half into it, so I think I still have like five hours left of the audiobook, but that's what's going on. So I'll show you some more clips in a minute. picking up groceries and I forgot to tell you how I felt about Paper Girls Volume 2. It was excellent and weird. So that's my update. I'll talk to you guys more later. Hello, it is now 10 p.m. Lots of things have happened this evening. We did a lot of work on our other YouTube channel, posted a video, watched Halloween 2 in preparation for our 31 days of Halloween. So now I'm gonna settle in and read more of Call Me By Your Name which I'm not quite sure how I feel about yet. So I need to read some more to form more of my thoughts. Hello, it is Booktubeathon day three, and it's like almost 7 p.m. and I just realized I have not vlogged at all today. I meant to get some clips at lunch and just completely did not. So we are currently in the fast food line with our cat. And I haven't read that much today. I guess I've done a couple hours of my audiobook, which, I don't know how I feel about it. It's one of those books where like something happened to the main character, but then she has amnesia and you're like spending the whole book trying to piece together what happened to her. And I just think that's annoying. And it's not very well done. Everything Beautiful is Not Ruined did it very well in this book. Eh, I don't know. So, and then I've been reading more of Call Me By Your Name. I'm like halfway through it and I finally got to the actual like romance part a little bit. And I still don't know how I feel about it. The age difference weirds me out. Does it weird you out? I don't know enough about it to be weirded out, but yes. So, we'll see how it goes. But that's all I got right now. I will maybe read more later, probably. We're gonna live stream later, it's Wednesday. And we always do live streams on our BS Review channel. So we're gonna play some sort of video game over there, whatever people voted for. So after that, I'll probably read, which is gonna be a couple more hours, so. That's the update. I'll check back in later. Bye. Hello, vlogging friends. It is day four of Booktubeathon. It is Thursday. I really didn't vlog that much yesterday. Today I'm going to try to be better. Uh, update I am a little over halfway through Call Me By Your Name. I'm hoping to finish it today, maybe tomorrow. And then for my audiobook, We Were Liars, I've got an hour and a half left. I'm definitely going to finish that today. And I'm currently debating if I want to do a second audiobook because I'm questioning if I can finish, after these two books, if I can finish three other physical books between Saturday and Sunday. Because Friday night I have plans and work all day, so I'm not going to be able to read much Friday, tomorrow, 
So I really only have Saturday and Sunday and I just don't know if I can get through all three books I have left planned because one's like over 200 pages and one's over almost 400 pages and then the other one's like 170 pages. So I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I decide later. But for now, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to finish my audiobook while I run my reports for today. And then I'm going to go home for lunch and try to get through another chunk of Call Me By Your Name. So that's what's going on. I hope Booktubeathon is going well for you guys. And I'll check in later. Hello, it's now lunchtime. My husband is also home today. Hello. Uh, I finished We Were Liars. It was not good. I think I was going to give it like a three star for a while, but no, nah, it's a two star. Um... It has a crazy reveal, which was slightly interesting, but I just think the entire book has a very interesting concept or multiple interesting concepts and was executed very poorly. And I've been ranting to my husband about it for like 10 minutes. I give it 2.5 stars he just because it, it oh, sounded much more interesting, her telling it to me, and I didn't have to read it. So there you go. That's our <laughs> double opinion. One who has read it and one who just secondhand heard about it. But uh, now I'm going to read Call Me By Your Name, which right now, if I had to rate Call Me By Your Name, I'd give it like a three star. <sighs> so I need, when we're done with this, I'm hoping I like it more by the end of the book. But, but when we're done with this, I need a good book the last couple days. So I'm going to start a second audiobook when I get to work because I don't have time to read three physical books this weekend to get to my seven books. So I'm going to read The Great Gatsby today and tomorrow on audiobook. And then I'm going to read Geekerella and Reign of the Fallen over the weekend. So that's the plan. But I'm going to go make lunch now. Possibly sit on the balcony with my child who's being crazy because we take him outside. Like we take him on walks and stuff like a dog. If you've been around on the vlogs, you know this. And it's too hot to go out during the week. So we have to go to air conditioned areas. And we can really only do that on the weekend. So about by Wednesday, Thursday during the week, he becomes a crazy stir crazy cat. So we'll see if he wants to go on the balcony. <laughs> So I only have 70 pages left of Call Me By Your Name, and I don't like it. And I just, uh, I'm gonna finish it. But I just, I don't get the hype at all. So, and this is my read an adaptation and watch the adaptation. And I've heard so many good things about the movie. And I've heard the movie's pretty accurate to the book, so I are nervous. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Hello. It is now the evening of day four. It's Thursday. And I have now finished my fourth book. So I am on track for seven books in seven days. I did not like this book. And now I have to watch the movie. Steven, are you ready to watch the movie? I'm peachy keen. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um... I don't like a lot of what's in this book. I think a lot of it is creepy and predatory, and I'm really confused about everybody praising it. And I think I'm going to talk about that more in my monthly wrap-up, which will be in, like, several weeks. So we'll see. But, but I didn't like it. I didn't find it cute or romantic most of the time. There were moments. But other moments overshadowed those moments. So... Now, what did we decide I was going to read next? Reign of the Fallen or Geekerella? Steven had a whole plan of, what was it? I should read the it longer the one Fallen. first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Reign of the Fallen is 100 pages longer than Geekerella. So he thinks I should read that one first. Why? So that way, you have the shorter one at the end. Plus, if... Less bleed over. So if you have a shorter book bleeding over, that's better than having a longer book bleeding over. There you go. There's the logic. So that's, I think that's the plan. I'm not sure if I'll start that tonight or if I'm going to wait until tomorrow and my vlog camera. And by vlog camera, I mean phone will not focus. There we go. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. I had something else to mention. Now I don't remember what it was. 
My last day of this readathon slash vlog is going to be kind of weird because I have overlapping readathons happening on Sunday. So the last day of Booktubeathon is Sunday, and the first day of the readathon that I'm hosting, Slayer TBR, is starting on Sunday. And I'm running sprints that day, and we have a live chat that evening. So Sunday's going to be busy. We also have a friend coming over that's possibly filming YouTube videos or live streaming with us. I don't know. Sunday is a big old question mark at the moment. We'll see what happens. But I might be doing some weird double vlogging on Sunday. I don't know how that's going to work, but I think this has been a long enough update. If I end up reading anything else today, I will fill you in. Otherwise, we might not chat until tomorrow. I did start reading The Great Gatsby. I'm not very far into it, but it's a pretty short book, so I should be done with it tomorrow. can't even read that. Alright, well I was trying to get the title, but of course that's not happening. We're watching Call Me By Your Name. We'll see if I hate it like I hated the book. Are you excited? Oh, this really zoomed in. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, book to movie adaptation challenge complete. I've read Call Me By Your Name. I've watched Call Me By Your Name. What do you think of the movie as a non-book reader? As a non-book reader, and we were just talking about this, I did not love it, <laughs> but the last 30 minutes of the movie, I actually really liked. I would give the last 30 minutes an A+, and I would give the first hour and a half a C-. minus. Yeah, I think I agree with that assessment. I think it actually was a very good book-to-movie adaptation. I think that it kept the tone of the book perfectly, which I hated. <laughs> but the tone of the book was weird, so... But it matched for the movie. So, so if you loved the tone of the book, you'll probably love the tone of the movie. The ending of the movie is very different from the book. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I liked the performance of it. I think that the actual events in the book are stronger, but I think the performance of the last, like, what, two minutes of the film? Solid. I think Timothy Chalamet's performance at the end was really good. I think the dad's performance was probably the strongest the in the film. The dad was the best character out of this entire film, I love him so much. He stole every scene he was in. He, he was brought great. he had the most charisma, which is kind of funny because I've heard a lot of people talking about like Army Hammer's charisma and Timothy's charisma yeah. in this. And they both came across very aloof and it was hard to connect with them. And so I didn't really feel like they were bringing charisma to the screen as much as they were just being weird. Pretty much how the book is. So <laughs> that's end of day four of Book Tubathon. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm tired. We're going to go to bed. Time to read another book. I mean, I need to, but it's not going to happen tonight. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick up Rain of the Fallen starting at lunch tomorrow. So, And then we have plans tomorrow night, so I can't read tomorrow night. It's just going to be Saturday and Sunday. so It'll be great. Good night. Hello. It's day five of the readathon. It's Friday. It's lunchtime. I did not intro the vlog earlier today because I was running late for work, and now I'm dying of cramps. So I'm sitting on the couch with a heating pad while I wait for lunch to be done because the lovely husband is making me lunch. Uh, and while I wait for lunch, and then while I eat lunch, I'm going to start reading Reign of the Fallen. So that's fun. Uh, this completes two challenges when I'm done with it. It is the one with a beautiful spine because I think this is very pretty. And then it also completes green on the cover because there are little green jewels in the crown. So that's the plan. I think this is almost 400 pages, if not longer than 400 pages. It's like 370 pages. So the goal is to finish this by end of day Saturday and then to read Geek Girl on Sunday. We'll see how it goes.
haven't talked to you in a while. I've shown you clips of things. I told you I had plans tonight, and I did I did a smidge of reading earlier on the balcony with the kiddo, but not much. So I'm going to just close out day five, and tomorrow I will check back in with you. Uh, explanation of clips I showed earlier. So we went to this restaurant that's called Nerdvana, and it uh, has, like, tables and stuff that have um, video game consoles. So you can play video games while you eat and stuff, which was fun. And then we went and dropped off a friend back at their house and we took our cat with us and he decided he wanted up on the dash, which he's never done before. So I just had to get a clip of it. But now we're going to go to bed because we are sweepy. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's Booktubeth on day six. It's Saturday, which means we're doing car vlog segments. Car vlogs. So we always do on Saturdays. Uh, it is currently 9.45 a.m. We are on our way to a movie. We're going to go see 8th grade, which I'm excited about. I've heard good things. And then after that, we're doing therapy appointments. So while he's in his, I'm going to read more of Reign of the Fallen because I really haven't gotten that far in it. And I want to read more about the necromancers. But right now, on our way to the movie, because it's like a 40-minute drive, we are going to listen to Great Gatsby because Stephen agreed to listen to it with me. I also enjoy this book quite a bit. So. Yeah, I think I read this book in high school, but I don't really like, remember it. And I've seen the movie, but it was a short audiobook, so I wanted to get in my seven books. So I have to finish Great Gatsby today and Reign of the Fallen, and then I can complete Geekerella tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do them all. We're going to read all of them. That's the plan. I'm going to read them in spirit. Always. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. I'll update you guys later. Bye. Hello, it's been a bit. It's now 5 p.m. I am 80 pages into Reign of the Fallen. We've just been parked on the couch for the last couple hours. Uh, you know, lazy Saturday. But I thought I would show you some cool stuff with this book because I got a like signed edition with some cool pre-order stuff when I originally got it back in January. So I wanted to show you. So obviously this is the hardcover and one of my favorite covers of all time. It's also signed by the author, which is Sarah Glenn Marsh. And then it came with these character cards, which are actually really cool and helpful for keeping track of all the people. And I have now at this point, 80 pages in, been introduced, at least in name, to all of these characters. We haven't actually met her in person yet, but everybody else I've met. So it's kind of fun to have the cards and they have their little symbols that kind of relate to what they can do. Because um, everybody has different versions of magic in this world. So our main character is a necromancer. We got weather mages and beast mages. It's really fun. So I like having the character cards. And if I end up liking this... The second one is in pre-order mode right now. So if I like this, I'm going to go ahead and pre-order the second one, which also comes with new character cards and other fun stuff. So we'll see. So my husband got these weird chips. They're General So's chicken. They're weird. They're weird. It's a good flavor, but it's a flavor that doesn't belong on chips. That's my professional opinion. My husband's bad at vlogging and took a bite before I could capture his reaction. So these are smoked Gouda and garlic. I think these will be good. What do you think? You don't like them? I'm so cheesy. Hi, Bean. I like cheesy things. That's You're why I like these. you. But you don't? Okay, let's see. Mmm. Those are so cheesy. Those are so cheesy. I love them. Mmm. You can taste the smokiness. I personally would take out the smokiness. But it's an interesting flavor. I like it. All right, now we're gonna go back to reading. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello! Update time. It's later in terrible lighting because it's nighttime now. <laughs> um, it's 8.45, so I'm currently 107 pages into Reign of the Fallen. I've got about two hours left of Great Gatsby, which I'm listening to at a faster speed, so hopefully I only have to listen to about an hour and a half more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my nails while I read both of these. I'm going to kind of alternate between them. My husband had the genius idea to do that. So while I paint my toes, I'm going to read my physical book. And then while I paint my fingers, I'm going to listen to my audiobook since I can't flip the pages. This plan. Also, I don't think I've shown you guys our rainbow shelf that we put together the other day. Hold on. I'll give you a better angle. Earlier this week, the uh, booktube -thon Twitter account, uh, Books and Lala did like this big book scatter hunt, which subsequently destroyed all my shelves. So I decided when I was putting books back to make a rainbow shelf. So me and my husband put this together. I've never stylized my books in any particular way on shelves. And I really like how it turned out. So I thought I'd show you. Hello, it is day seven of booktube -thon. It is the last day. And I think I'm only going to read six books. I'm gonna try so hard though. It's currently 11.20 a.m. I am doing double readathons today. Uh, a readathon that I am hosting, Slayer TBR readathon, is starting today, and Booktubeathon is ending today. So I'm doing a weird balancing thing. But for now, I just finished Great Gatsby, five stars, super great. Really enjoyed it, listened to it on audiobook, and I am now trying to finish Reign of the Fallen which I have a little bit more than halfway to go. And then if I want to read seven books, I still have to finish Geekerella. And if I could just sit here and read all day, that might be possible, but I have videos to film. I have adulthood things to do today. It's Sunday, so it's like a prep for the week kind of day. Um, I have videos to edit. It's, it's a time. I'm currently exporting a video right over here for my other channel, The BS Review. It's a whole thing. Um, and then I also have a friend coming over later who is in town. About the same friend we hung out with on Friday. And we're going to do some live streaming and some video filming and some general hangout. So the updates might be weird today. We'll see because I'm double vlogging, double reading, and doing lots of other things. I'm trying not to stress out about it though. For now... I'm going to sit here and read. I'm running sprints for Slayer TBR Readathon on Bookish Bash Twitter account right now. So while I finish that up, I'm going to read this. And I'm also snacking on some Nutella and some pretzel sticks because I have very bad cramps right now. And I need chocolate. So I have my handy dandy heating pad. I have chocolate. I have a book. It's a good time. So that's what's going on. I'll update you sporadically throughout the day. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I've been looking for my bookmark for like 10 minutes. And I forgot I put it in the back of my book. <sighs> Clearly I am tired. All right, guys. I don't remember when I last vlogged, but I know it was many, many hours ago. It's uh, almost 9 o'clock. I have read more of Reign of the Fallen. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight, though, so I think my final count for booktube is going to be five books, like five and a half, but I'm going to keep this vlog open just a little bit longer, and I'm going to check in with you guys later on how much I have read of Reign of the Fallen, so be back soon. All right, guys, it is Monday. booktube is over, but I thought before I closed out this vlog that I would kind of do a rundown of my stats for this readathon and everything, just because I find that interesting, so maybe you do too. I ended up not completing all of the challenges, which I'm kind of bummed about, but I did read quite a lot for my typical completion rate of readathons, I guess you could say. I typically only get like two or three books in on readathons, and for this one, I did five and a half pretty proud of myself. So let's talk about what that entailed. So I read five and a half books, three and a half of those were physical, two were audiobooks, and out of the three and a half physical, two of those were comic books. I completed three out of the seven challenges. I did the coin toss, read whichever wins the coin toss as your first book, which was Saga Volume 1, or sorry, Saga Volume 2. And then I did the wear a hat the whole time you read a book challenge, which I did with Paper 
Paper Girls Volume 2, and then I did the book to movie adaptation challenge where you read the book and then watch the movie adaptation, and I did that with Call Me By Your Name. So total pages that I read, like actually physically read, was 732, and then audiobook, I listened to 11 hours and 32 minutes of audiobook, uh, but if you count the audiobook pages of the book, my total pages were 1154 pages, which I think is pretty good. So to recap, we got Saga Volume 2, which I gave five stars, really enjoyed it. Uh, I read Paper Girls Volume 2, five stars, really enjoyed it. And then my two audiobooks that I did were We Were Liars, which I gave two stars, not good. And then um, The Great Gatsby, which was two star, not two stars, Great Gatsby was five stars. It was very good. And then for physical past comic books, I read Call Me By Your Name, two stars, didn't super like it, didn't really like the movie either. And then my half book was Reign of the Fallen, if I can get it, you know right side up um so yeah got halfway through that didn't quite finish it and this would have completed two challenges which is kind of a bummer but that's the situation I had a good time I did one video challenge I think I did two Instagram challenges so the video challenge I did the day one which I'll link the video up of it was recreate a cover of a book with random things around your house and you had a time limit and then the Instagram challenges I think I did the book that first got you into reading which I'll put the picture up somewhere around here um, it wasn't like the absolute first book that ever got me into reading because I've been reading since I was a small wee child. Uh, but I did one that really got me into like fantasy and then I did a stack of books which I don't remember which day that was. I think it was day two? Yeah. Um, and I doubled that up with a bookish bash uh, photo challenge as well. Overall, I had a really good time. I think Booktubeathon was really fun. I think I'll definitely do it again next year. I read a ton, got to talk to a lot of people. It was really fun. So that concludes this readathon. There should be another readathon vlog coming in about a week because I'll be doing Slayer TBR readathon, which I've mentioned a few times in this vlog. Sorry if it's getting obnoxious. If you ended up vlogging for this readathon, please send me the link or like comment down below that you did it and I'll go find it because I would love to watch. I've been really enjoying all of the reading vlogs that have been going out this week, especially people who do daily. I didn't do daily because that's just mm, mm, it's too much. So, but if you did a weekly, a daily, a couple days, whatever, I want to know and I want to check it out. So, as always, if you like this video and want to see more readathon vlogs, uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you like me and want to see more stuff from me, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my Bookish Beauty family. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.